Today, we are going to look at the differences between a dirty, clean, and sharpen circular saw blade. Is it worth the effort of keeping your old blades around like I've been doing over the years? Or is it better to treat them like a worn out piece of sandpaper and just toss them out like another consumable part of woodworking? Something I always hear is, you don't need a new blade, you just need to clean it. So we will compare the differences between having a clean blade and having a clean and sharpened blade. A while back, the great Cat Moses put out a video leading us all to the promised land by showing off these quality yet affordable CMT blades. And it was said you could send these blades in and have them sharpened up to 10 to 15 times, as opposed to the off-the-shelf blades getting just two to three sharpenings. And the longer life on these CMT blades comes from the large amount of carbide you can see on these blades. This concept of being able to send in my blades and have them sharpened was what sold me on them. I instantly bought myself two of these anointed blades for my own shop. My work is pretty tough on blades, particularly because of the large amount of pine that I cut through for some of my bigger clients. The pine pitch sure smells great, but over time it attaches to the teeth, killing its performance. When it finally came time to get my blade sharpened, I found out that it wasn't as easy as I originally thought. All of the online sharpeners I could find required me to pick up the phone and talk to someone at these shops, give out my credit card information over the phone, pay for shipping, and be unsure when the actual blades would arrive back, how much it would cost, or even worse, what if they got lost in transit. So with my ever-growing lack of trust in others to do the job right, I decided to put the task of sharpening blades into my own hands. I reached out to my contact over at Vever and asked if they had a machine or tool for sharpening circular saw blades. And not to my surprise, since I believe Vever sells just about everything from ice cream machines to painting booths to even jackhammers, Vever does indeed sell a circular saw blade sharpener. They agreed to send me one with the only strings attached, being that I didn't just keep it all to myself, but that I put out a video sharing my experiences using it with all of you. No pressure on whether I share the good or the bad, they just want exposure. And I really do appreciate them sending this because I am really excited to see what the test results will show. Before we put this thing together and get sharpening, let's go ahead and do a dirty blade test versus the clean blade test. I am going to push a piece of southern yellow pine through my blade record the amount of time it takes to push it through the cut, and observe, is it making a ton of sawdust, or is it chiseling through the wood, making nice long wood strands like you would see on a brand new blade? With the dirty blade, I was able to push 48 inches of inch and a half thick southern yellow pine through in 16 seconds. We can also see, stuck to my arm hairs, some wood chips, but a majority of sawdust, indicating that the blade is definitely not cutting as optimally as it should. So let's go ahead and get this blade cleaned up and test it again. So with the clean blade, we can see that I was able to push it through at just 12 seconds. This is a increase in speed of 25% just by cleaning the pitch off of the blade. And as you can see here on my arms, a little bit less sawdust and a lot more wood chips this time around. So this indicates that it's cutting much better. All right, now let's finish getting this blade sharpener together so we can test out a sharp blade. That should do it. 
Now, I did run into two issues with my sharpener, but they were easy to fix. The first issue was the smallest arbor spacer was a little bigger than it should be to fit inside my blade, no matter how hard I tried to force it in. Thankfully, all I had to do to fix this was thread the arbor spacer onto a long bolt, thread a nut next to it to hold it in place, chuck it into my drill, and use some sandpaper to remove some material until it was down to a diameter that would fit into my blades. The second issue I had was the water cooling tank. I poured some water into the tank and it immediately started to leak. Funny enough, it was just a loose connection at the valve. And once I tightened it up, it was ready to go. It's said that this machine can handle blades down to 3 inches all the way up to 27 inches. Wow, that's a big blade. The sharpening process is pretty easy and quick once you get the hang of it. The gist of it is, make sure the tooth is contacting the grinding wheel at the correct angle and depth. There is even a stop that you can adjust so that the same amount of carbide is removed from each tooth. Mark the tooth that you start on and work your way around the blade until all the teeth are sharpened. Now that this blade is sharpened up, let's do the final test. A clean and sharpened blade. As I push it through the cut, I can feel that it is gliding through much easier. And the timer proves it. It did a 48 inch rip cut in just eight seconds. Here is the uh, shaving check. <laughs> Most of it actually ended up right here on my shirt. And you can see we're making shavings now less of sawdust it's more actual fibers if we look back at the results the dirty blade took 16 seconds the clean one took 12 seconds and the sharp blade did it in just eight seconds so that is a 50 percent increase in speed now all the hours that i spend at the table saw cutting theoretically will only take half the amount of time. Two things, this shows how bad my dust collector is. And uh, let's just take a look at the quality of the cut. This is with the sharp blade and it has stayed sharp. It is getting a little bit dirty. This type of pine is just covered in pitch. So there's a lot of sap but it's staying good and I'm not making sawdust, really. It's majority wood shavings. That is a good sign of a blade staying sharp. And what a difference because you saw what my table saw was full of earlier. And that's from cutting similar stuff just with a dull blade. When it's dull, it makes sawdust. When it's sharp, shavings. It's a lot better on your lungs too. Based on my results, I would say that yes, you can get away with keeping your blades clean for a while, but an actual sharpening, like we've done, makes a world of difference. For someone like me, this blade sharpener is a welcome addition to my workshop, and it will continue to keep getting used, keeping my blades sharp, saving me money from constantly buying new blades when they get dull. With a current price of $240, link in the description, the average low-end table saw blade cost about $40. With that, this machine will pay for itself if I sharpen six times instead of replacing them with a new blade every time they get dull. So I think if you are a serious woodworker or running productions in your shop, I think this is a great investment to get for yourself. If you just do an occasional cut from time to time as a DIYer, I don't think you really need to be sharpening your own blades. But in the end, that's just my opinion. That's all for this one. Until next time, you can catch me on the next one. No. No. Where did you go?